They're here. Just like I said. We have it! <sighs> You're just in time. But be ready to run. Won't hold it for long. Find Nuvilet. Tell him the defenses are about to collapse. Then what will happen to you? Until he arrives, we're the last line of defense. <laughs> the gate. How long do you think it'll hold? That depends on us. <laughs> My thanks to you both. I will take it from here. <laughs> sure you don't need a hand? Quite sure. Wow. So, what's your secret, huh? Uh, let me guess. Nah, who knows. Maybe it's just your sense of responsibility. <laughs> hmm. Sounds about right. Day may come when the prophecy is fulfilled and the waters burst forth, but it is not this day. This ancient power could easily obliterate an entire race. A tsunami of fury would unleash endless catastrophe. Forgive me for overruling it. It's raining again. I've had enough of this weather. 
Ah, there go my travel plans. Did you read the news this morning? Quick, put away everything on the clothesline. <sighs> when is this rain going to stop? <laughs> Hydro Dragon, Hydro Dragon, don't cry! They're planning to reanimate the monster. We have to report this to the Chief Justice. The Fortress of Meripede. It's a good place for me. He owes me so many answers. Nervilet? Hmm. You could say he's the real symbol of Fontaine's justice. Watch him closely. He could be trouble. How can two completely different species possibly coexist? Who's been threatening Melusines? Show yourself! You will see much in the human world. From the delightful to the depressing. And one day, when you have dwelt among humanity long enough, you will be placed to bring judgment over all as a spokesperson for Fontaine's past. Good morning, Monsieur Nervillet! The rainy season's almost over! <laughs> the skies are supposed to clear in a few days! I hope you find time to enjoy the sunny days ahead. Far from my native land I roamed. In streams I slept, many seasons I met as the sun set and rose. I searched for a garden to call a home, and the moonlight ebbed as the water flowed. A soft breeze beckoned me unto a spring. Sleep, weary wanderer, your journey is over. May the dancing petals sweeten your slumber. At dawn, I hummed the melody of a distant stream, and the songs in the night serenaded my dreams. A boy's tender tears trembled through the water, stirring me more than any starlight sonata. He wove me a wreath from past petals and future buds, I crossed beyond the veil of dreams to the realm of flesh and blood. Look at the love that shines from his eager gaze. Answer the call of his heart, lest this moment go to waste. The kittens and fireflies invited my heartstrings to sing. But I was a stranger to the melody of mankind, and knew not how this tune should begin. As the river of dreams trickled into the ocean blue, 
Every time a crystal fly flapped its wings, older it seemed he grew. But I learned to fathom human ways each stumbling step I took, and clouds of confusion became crystal clear in the vulnerable verse I wrote. As seed yearns for soil and trees for the sun, a once foreign melody inside my heart sung, and it cried out your name on every string it could strum. Now, I give my dream to you. May it be in your slumber a sweet spring to quench your thirst. Now, I hand my heart to you, praying my belated promise might meet still with your trust. If you think fear can control everything, well then, terrify me. Don't high road me! You're just another crook! And it's time he got treated like one! <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? Too scared to shoot straight? I, I warned you! Unauthorized punishment and torture are prohibited here! As to do, you should set an example! Funny how that slipped my mind. Well, from this point on, you can forget about that rule. The rules of the fortress are there to keep the likes of you in check. But if the Duke wants somebody dead, he needs no justification. Understood? Uh -huh.